you get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. Alright guys, this is Fulfilling Orders. So you went through, you found some good products, you're selling them on Facebook, um, and you made some couple of sales. Now you're probably wondering, um, if you're especially new, how the hell do I do this now? Well, the first thing you want to do is once you get a sale on Shopify, go to AliExpress and order the item from the good supplier that you found. Now make sure it is e-packet delivery 100%. Alright guys, I cannot stress it enough. Now what's going to happen? after you paid for it is you wait a couple of days before tracking is updated on AliExpress okay and what happens is after a couple of days it is going to be available and all you need to do is copy that tracking link or that tracking number that tracking code or whatever it is the tracking code into your Shopify dashboard where the person ordered there's gonna be a spot where you could like literally put it in and then now that customer is gonna get automatically updated any single tracking updates that happens with that product now that since you put ePacket, you know they're gonna get like real live um, tracking from USPS now once you get more advanced you can even do this now okay you can also download this thing called Oberlo in your Shopify App Store I could put it in the description if you want and um, you would actually get started for it for free especially if you start doing some like serious numbers like 10 20 30 40 50 sales a day um, I would definitely recommend Oberlo because it literally automatically fills for you with one press of a button automatically buys it's like connected to your uh, credit card so it could automatically buy it off of AliExpress and then it also sends the tracking over to Shopify. It's actually, think about Oberlo as a way of um, making Shopify and AliExpress communicating, okay? So pretend like Shopify and AliExpress are like um, like a divorcee couple. Uberlo is kind of like the, people, the, the therapist that makes them communicate, okay? That's kind of like one thing. Now remember the goal with all of this is to build your cash flow business but as you guys are starting to you know start making money in it one of the biggest things you need to do is make sure that you do not depend on your cash flow business okay so I know a lot of people that once they're fulfilling orders are like oh my god I'm making a lot of money this is awesome but guess what they what happens is they have lifestyle inflation you know I have a lot of friends and a lot of people that I know that went through this right they depended all on AliExpress on drop shipping from China and stuff like that and they were spending like crazy and all it takes is just a little Facebook update or someone stealing their product or modeling their product and um, jumping on because it's so easy to hop on right that's why I said only folks are making $100 profit a day you can't make more but the biggest goal is to build your passive income on the side because like I said um, this entire business it has its ups it has its downs it has its trials it has tribulations it has its days where you're making a lot of money it has those days where you're breaking even but your biggest goal is to think long term in what you want to do not just for the next couple months but the next five years so make sure while you're building on this and while you're fulfilling orders to record this in your in the passive income modules which I will see you guys further along in the Academy um, so hopefully that helps this is kind of like a um, this is basically kind of an overview of how to drop ship from Shopify AliExpress and Facebook ads the next one we're going to introduce you other ways of creating cash flow business but this is just only one cash flow business guys this is only one cash flow business this isn't the end-all be-all there's other cash flow businesses out there the biggest thing is just picking one Seeking note one, getting to your first one sale, and then to getting to your first one hundred dollars revenue, and then getting to your first one thousand dollars revenue. All right, guys. So that's really it. Hopefully this helps, and I'll see you guys on the next cash flow business module training.